Alright guys, your boy Ron Thomas here. This could potentially be a very exciting unboxing, otherwise it's going to be a complete disaster and it's going to be great. Morgan's camera on, and uh, so if you see slash hear anything, that's my, that my main man over there. Um, OnePlus 3, been using it for a while, Morgan's already in love with it, I think he's going to buy one, um, which is dank, but this is something way more exciting. So this is um, uh, upside down too, so I don't want to really show you where I live guys, it's not really one of my... That's mainly the reason I haven't created too many Pokemon Go videos is because I don't really want to show you guys where I live. And I can do that with some blurring, but yeah, let's get into the box and like... If this is something i got to send back, I'm going to be pissed off because... Not only do I have to send it back, but I've probably broken the box quite a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's unbox this. Zip this in. Yeah, there we go, right. Now, there's some of this. Sorry, there we go. And this is upside down, remember? So, um, hang on a minute. How can I do this the more delicately? Okay, sponsored by, um, yeah. So, we're gonna do. Oh! Oh no, don't be stuck now. I've gone through all that. There we go. Okay. That was actually very anticlimactic because I thought there would be more in there, but no. So. Please don't be a brick. Please don't be a troll. Oh, oh. Pass the parcel. Some people. Oh, that was that was clean. Right. Oh, it's a bag. It's like a bag. It's not a. It's like a cardboard bag. Yeah, almost. It's almost like it's like brown paper bag. I mostly I save these, not necessarily to send the things back, but when I have to sell phones, it's really useful. Like this. Please be a phone. Feels like a phone. Oh my god, going up. Ah! There it is. Oh my god, we can get some action on that. Some okay, action on that. Some right, I'm gonna take this out of its case to do a little comparison when I need to. But well one plus three hasn't been polished, but holy shit. This this is if this is uh this is the phone that has beaten iPhones this year. Yes, this year has beaten iPhones. This, I'm, I'm going to do a comparison to this, and it's going to, by the scene, like, by speculation, it's going to be very close, okay? But, we, um, um, it's magnetic, the box is magnetic. Oh! Oh! Oh, you know, for, you know we're just going to leave it to the side from it, like all unboxings. <laughs> uh, we got a little, just the unboxing experience, as well. They got a dedicated sheet for the sim eject tool, if you can see that. I mean, this is used, so it could be someone's invention, but... Oh, it's been ripped! So, we have a lot of, uh, lot of things, which I'm not going to read. So actually, if I sell this phone, which very unlikely, because this is, I don't know if you guys know, I've sold the G7X, which is a tiny little camera in box not too long ago. That's gone now. This is, uh, this is, what the f... You know that OTG cable you have? Yeah, I know. It it's a little yeah. adapt. I did not know this. Yeah. Okay. So, but essentially, you can plug one end into your phone, the other end into. It's like a USB, so you can plug like keyboards and mice into it. If you didn't know that, I didn't know they came like. With you should try all that. Um, yeah, I will do. Oh, and yeah. then standard, you know, Samsung USB cable. Never really been a fan. Very plasticky. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't go with the Type C. Actually, no, they didn't. Time. They did with the Note Seven. They did. Yeah. Amazing, and you guys should be excited because <laughs> it's a Note series. Uh, well, that's already that's already the best unboxing experience I've ever had because it's guess... not finicky, and you you know the mm. when you have to like slowly <sighs> let it out. I mean, I sat like freaking OnePlus and Apple sort yourselves out. Right, this is where. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I... You know what, let's do a little bit. Show the back? Let's do a... It's already a fingerprint magnet. Hmm. 
That's... That feels really good in the hand. I'm not sure if it feels better though. Yeah, go on, have that. Ooh, it feels very good. metallic. It is, isn't it? Like, I don't know, it's just, it's more almost grippy, which is weird because it's glass, but we're gonna do a first boot if it's got juice. AMOLED, just like we've, we've come to expect from phones. This, I, I thought maybe this would be a bit big, but I think the wraparound glass makes it like, it feels more like, the, the screen is to the edges, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. It's, it's got a slightly bigger screen, slightly taller screen. Anyway, we're gonna do setup now. So, um, pause camera more, because we're gonna do a setup, and I'm gonna lend it to Morgan for a little bit. Wait. Guys, we have unboxed and tested this bad boy, this uh, Galaxy S7 that has not got its writing on it for some reason, because I forgot the edge doesn't. But yeah, so we've got like the Galaxy S7 and it's dank and it it feels awesome, but it's going to need good tech. This is a very difficult phone to beat, and so I don't know which one's going to win, but I don't know. It's going to be funny. Still got to download Pokemon Go on this because that's the real true test. Um, slow mo video is awesome because it's 240 FPS just like the iPhone 6S Plus. So, I mean, that's pretty Either way, fingerprint scanner is relatively quick. If we try that again. It's a little bit like, a little bit laggy, I'd say. This phone just instantly, instantly unlocks. Just Whereas this one, it's a button, number one. So you gotta press it, and then... I'm not saying anything. <coughs> <coughs> Just, uh, done. Totally not downloaded Pokemon Go. This may have... What? I just downloaded 60 megabytes in a second. <laughs> 